Well, Eric Schmidt out of the top spot at Google after 10 years. Larry Page will take over the reins. Uh, let's get more on this from Fortune senior writer Michael Copeland from San Francisco. Michael, I know you've been talking to your sources at Google. What are you hearing? Well, Poppy, people are surprised to say the least. Nobody expected this. Um, I, I, I have people I've spoken to who are former Googlers and people who are still very close to Google. In fact, some still work there. And, you know, between Larry and Sergey, Larry is definitely the choice to pick um, for CEO. But people question whether he's ready. And overall, Eric did a great job as CEO. And I think there's going to be some consternation among Google, you know, internally about, you know, whether Larry's ready for, ready for the job. Well, you know, what Eric said in his blog post about this today was clearly, in my mind, Larry is ready to lead. Uh, he said, I think Larry will do a better job leading than I would. And, and he explained this by saying decisions were made at Google in three parts, Sergey, Larry, and Eric, and this will lead to more streamlined uh, decision-making process. Is that uh, company talk, or, or will that happen? I think that's true. I mean, I think when, when you... When you talk about Google, there was always sort of Larry and Sergey, and then there was Eric. And, you know, Eric's, you know, point of view didn't necessarily jibe with theirs all the time, and that's where the friction arose. Um, you know, in China, in privacy matters in Europe, you know, you got the sense that Larry and Sergey had one side and Eric had the other. And then to get to a, a, a final answer, a final, you know, plan, um, took a long time. So, yeah, I do think this will streamline things, but I also think that maybe Larry and Sergey, you know, they they just wanted to run the show themselves, and maybe they didn't want to have to go through that extra effort with Eric anymore. Let's talk about the tweet uh, from Eric Schmidt. This is in the past few hours. He says, day-to-day uh, -day adult supervision uh, no longer needed. What do you make of that? Well, look, Eric Schmidt was brought brought in a decade ago you know, really for adult supervision. You know, Larry and Sergey founded this company, and, you know, as it got bigger and bigger, um, Wall Street and others thought that they, that they couldn't run it themselves, and, uh, and especially not a public company, so they brought in Schmidt. Now, is Larry ready to run a public company, especially of the size that Google has become over the last decade? You know, Eric Schmidt says he is. Um, certainly Larry thinks he is. Um, but I think, you know, Wall Street is going to take a wait-and-see attitude, and, and so will the rest of us. How does this change how Google is run? It, you know, as a public company, it has dominated in the marketplace. It has, uh, you know, done phenomenally when it comes to earnings over the last decade. So what, what does this new leadership mean for Google? I mean, Eric is going to clearly stay on uh, with the company. He's going to be executive chairman, but no longer uh, the man at the helm. Well, I think, you know, look, if they want to run quicker, you know, maybe this allows them to do that. And they need to do that because, you know, they're staring down um, at competition from the likes of Facebook on the social side, from Apple clearly on the mobile side. I mean, Android's done incredibly well, but, you know, Apple's certainly not giving up that market anytime soon. So um, if they can move faster and make, you know, get products out there faster, make decisions quicker, and really keep ahead. I mean, Google is a large company. In many ways, it's a sprawling company. And so they're fighting these wars on many different fronts. They have mobile. They have overall search, you know, Bing's there. They have YouTube and display advertising. So they've got all these products, some of them doing incredibly well. But if they need to move fast on all fronts, I think um, this allows them to do that a bit better. Um, at the same time, I think they also... Larry and Sergey are the sort of creative soul of that company, and maybe we're going to start to see sort of more creative, interesting, kind of, you know, mind-blowing things coming out and coming out faster from Google. All right, finally here, uh, quickly, Eric, what, what does Eric do next? He stays with the company, but he's no longer uh, the leader, the, the, you know, the, the point man. Um, what does he do? Do we see him go into politics as an advisor to President Obama, perhaps? We know he's had a number of conversations advising the president along with other CEOs. Do you see that? Do you see something else? I, you know, so I think Eric in the last year has, has spent a lot of his time doing these very strategic you know, planning and decision-making processes where, you know, he's looking out over the global landscape and seeing how Google can play in China, how privacy, you know, issues in Europe might affect Google and its business. And he's also worked with the U.S. government on, on these issues, you know, as Google increasingly gets more and more uh, of a role around the world. I think he likes that role. I think he likes this kind of statesman slash engineer role. And I could easily see him you know, moving into it more formally. There was, you know, rumors when they were looking for a, a CTO for the, 
the United States that he was a candidate, and he certainly advised people on it. But I, he likes that role as statesman engineer, and, and I could see him moving into that as well. And it's going to be fascinating to follow that and follow the new leadership at Google, uh, especially with what you're predicting, Michael. Thanks a lot.